cryptocurrencies plunging right now. Bitcoin jumping back above 50,000. For- what are cryptocurrencies? They're a type of digital money. Cryptocurrency has taken over the whole world, particularly Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin, and new ones are being released, let's get right into it. Before Bitcoin was invented, already some theorized of digital currency, the idea was basically to create a currency using mathematic and computer principles, the closest success were be money and bit gold. In 2008. A unknown individual by the name of Mr. Satoshi Nakamoto wrote a paper called a peer-to-peer electronic cash system. Maybe it could have been a group of individuals or one person. Maybe it could have been the organization Spectre, the Illuminati, or someone from the future. When Bitcoin was released to the public in 2009, some supporters began using their own resources to mine it. Over the years new cryptocurrencies have been produced. The most distinguished element of cryptocurrency is there is no government control. This why many cryptocurrency enthusiasts love about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Without any government or bank control investors can buy and sell as much as they want. Now, let's get into the definition of how cryptocurrency is created and how it functions. Cryptocurrencies plunging right now. Bitcoin jumping back above 50,000. For- what are cryptocurrencies? They're a type of digital money. Cryptocurrency has taken over the whole world, particularly Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin, and new ones are being released, let's get right into it. Before Bitcoin was invented, already some theorized of digital currency, the idea was basically to create a currency using mathematic and computer principles, the closest success were be money and bit gold. In 2008. A unknown individual by the name of Mr. Satoshi Nakamoto wrote a paper called a peer-to-peer electronic cash system. Maybe it could have been a group of individuals or one person. Maybe it could have been the organization Spectre, the Illuminati, or someone from the future. When Bitcoin was released to the public in 2009, some supporters began using their own resources to mine it. Over the years new cryptocurrencies have been produced. The most distinguished element of cryptocurrency is there is no government control. This why many cryptocurrency enthusiasts love about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Without any government or bank control investors can buy and sell as much as they want. Now, let's get into the definition of how cryptocurrency is created and how it functions. When Satoshi Nakamoto created a mailing list this individual also provided the concept and the blueprint to create Bitcoin. Around 2010, Nakamoto disappeared but Bitcoin miners worked on the cryptocurrency consistently. Any developer could look at the code using any software and mine it themselves. The only rules on mining Bitcoin are a complete consensus. Majority of the consensus may be that. Anyone can mine Bitcoin and with any compatible software. Nobody owns the technology and nobody owns the Bitcoin network. Other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum are owned and have creators. Behind the code of the digital currency is a ledger with written transactions of users who bought and sold Bitcoin shares. When a user works for Bitcoin and processes transactions their reward is Bitcoins. 
like this, performance by a user is called mining. What makes our channel different is the constituted section, where we explain how this applies to you. The word constituted means be of a whole, and with so much news and information around sometimes we forget how this directly and indirectly affects you. Even as the world progresses to Web3, NFTs, and companies already using cryptocurrency as an exchange for products and services, and soon enough maybe one day businesses will pay salaries and wages through cryptocurrency. You may not receive a deposit or a check but bitcoins. Overall, cryptocurrency affects the way you purchase products and services and the way you are paid, completely revolutionizing the entire global market and the future. Comment what you think the future of cryptocurrency will be and why you think it is a good or bad idea to invest in cryptocurrency. Leave a like and subscribe to our channel and share this to anyone you know would be interested in origin of cryptocurrency particularly Bitcoin, also follow us on Instagram and TikTok.